Mariah here. She has colic and acid reflux. A lot of energy just goes to calming her down and keeping her happy. Long nights and exhausting days. So we're just we're just super tired and she's tired too because she's dealing with such so much discomfort. So we were recently at a wedding and we took her with us and she just didn't do so well. It was really difficult for us to keep her calm and happy and for her to feel comfortable. Uh, we've taken her out to the store and still we're like, Mike is holding her in a special position just to keep her happy because um, the arching of the back, the discomfort. A lot of people were saying it could be linked to tongue tie. So we took Mariah and got her adjusted at a chiropractor. They confirmed that we should definitely get it fixed because it's definitely the reason that she's been struggling a lot with nursing and when she's struggling with that she's taking in a lot of air bubbles and it's making her really fussy so we started looking into it and doing research and i was calling around to all these different places getting their input um, what they do how it affects the baby my sister also has dealt with tongue tie issues and her kids and getting it fixed and seeing such a huge improvement. I have not dealt with this with any of my kids, even though two of them do have tongue tie, but they never struggled. So I guess some kids can handle it better than others. We found a place, they said that we can come in for like a consultation just to see if she really needs it done. And if it's, you know, an extreme, we can get it fixed. They were able to check her mouth and look at everything and they're like, yes. Severe enough that it's affecting with nursing. Even if, you know, it does 100% take care of the colic, it does improve just her life as she gets older. It can help with speech, it can help with like face, teeth. I mean, there's so many positive things. So we decided to get the procedure done. They took her away and they were only gone for a couple minutes because the procedure actually is only a few seconds. It doesn't take long at all, which I'm thankful for. So they did before and after photos there in the office. They also had a photo before the procedure of her wearing these goggles to protect her eyes. It was such a cute little photo, but they brought her back and laid her down on this little table and they had to go through how to do all the stretches with me and she was just not having it. She was so upset that we were all in her mouth and that the doctor was showing me how to do the stretches with the tongue and then I was trying to do the stretches with the tongue and it was just like kind of chaotic just in that moment. So far right now, she doesn't mind me getting in her mouth and we're on day two. It looks very clean. They did such a good job on it. It's already starting to do like the healing, scabbing. She started nursing like really well after. She stopped getting fussy after. The arching of the back, she hasn't done that since. And longer periods of just like happy. And it's so weird to see her like just calm now that she has that relief and the tongue is free, you can see such a difference. No more air bubbles. I mean, she's still adjusting to her tongue. Um, you can see her like rolling her tongue around, sticking her tongue out. It always stayed down and low, except when she cried, you would see that heart shape, like she trying to push her tongue out and she would roll it around. You could see it going around in her cheek and her mouth and she's like, what is this thing in my mouth? Cause she's never, it's been tied down. Hey. So overall experience, it went really well. I'm very glad about that. I'm working on the stretches every four hours and she's handling it really well. We do have three other people in the house that has tongue tie and the kids got it from Mike. Sophia has it and Jeremiah, but they never had issues with speech or anything that we noticed. So we didn't know they had it until we started looking into it because of Micah with his speech. So Micah doesn't have the tongue tie and he's the one that has the speech issues. And the ones that do have the tongue tie didn't have speech issues. So that's why we didn't notice they had it until we were like looking into it for other things. Hi. Oh, she said hi. Yeah. Oh, hi. Hi. 
look, there's your tongue. Oh. <laughs> Hi. <gasps> hey. Are you so happy? Uh. Yeah, you're so happy.